Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Thank you for coming to this Zoom section. My name is Huli Ho, a volunteer conducting IT classes in library at Harbourfront. At this moment, we have converted these classes using Zoom. I have a blog, IT for Seniors WordPress.com. Normally, I post the notes for this session a few days before the event. For those who are interested to have a soft copy, just find the word follow on the right bottom side and submit your email address. So subsequent posts, you will have a soft copy before attending the session. We have done this Zoom section since the start of Circuit Breaker. So we have done 12 of them. And all this, the library has extended a video copy for me to post into my YouTube channel. So to make it easier, when you read the blog, of any relevant post, you can click the link on the first sentence of the blog to view the video again, to catch up with anything that you need to have some reconfirmation. For today, I will try to finish this uh, five uh, topic and uh, part two, I will continue with another five topic. So the one in blue, uh, you can say the foundation of understanding housekeeping. Now, some of you may not understand housekeeping in the IT sense. So I try to use a sim simple analogy to explain what is housekeeping. You notice this house is full of Lego pieces, not properly organized. The child still can make a project out of the pieces everywhere, but he will take a longer time to complete his project. So in a smart device, iPhone, laptop, desktop, every time you work on one program or play one game, there are a lot of unnecessary files for the next program. So the computer just put it aside, it's like in a waste bin. So the more activity you work on your smart device, the more unwanted files you have. So different device has different means of clearing all these unwanted files. I will go through them uh, later on. So in housekeeping, I always encourage you all to think of these three words. Why is to understand the problem. Understand removes fear. Why my smart device is running so slow? The easiest way is go to a service center and they fix it for you. But that is not what I encourage you to do. Try to join uh, IT interest group or a session like this and learn why. At least you understand it. So after learning why, then you have to learn how to save some money because most of the simple housekeeping job, you can do it yourself. No need to let a serviceman to do it for you and charge you a service fee. So how is can improve the situation? How can I improve the situation? Now, the last one is important. If is the consequence. 
if I just don't do what is being advised or don't even know what I need to do. So the consequence is you may lose your data, you may lose your memories, all the photos in the smartphone, 1,000 or 2,000 or 3,000 of them, you may just lose every one of them. So if I don't housekeep, what are the consequences? So these are the three things I will revolve around to make you all aware and to agree that you need to do something yourself. Now, any smart device normally has these four sections. First is the user. So the user must know how to give the right instruction to the smart device. So if you don't know, you learn. Application is what you request the smart device to do for you. It can be a simple calculation using a calculator, or it can be a Word document doing some uh, report writing. It can be many things. So this also have to learn. And the next one is important, the operating system. Every smart device has their own operating system and the housekeeping also slightly vary. So in the market now, we have a Windows 10 for laptops PC, for desktop PC. If you're using smartphone, you have the Apple smartphone, you have the Android smartphone using Google Android. So these are the main operating system. We will touch on them also. And the last but not least is the hardware. A lot of people did not neglect this and also can get into trouble. We will also talk about this. Now, what is housekeeping? Housekeeping is preventive maintenance. It's a habit of like for example, for us to keep ourselves fit, we have to eat the right food, eat smartly, and do exercise and uh, some other thing also. So in housekeeping of a smart device, we also need to know what are the tools to help us to do it and what are the procedures to command the smart device to do it. So these are all preventive maintenance. Maintenance is after the device is found not to be working well or not working at all. I have given you in this slide most of the tools that are required for most of the smart devices. Some are dedicated to certain smart device. Some uh, across the board, that means uh, you can use it in any device. So I just go through it quickly. This cleaner, you will get it in laptop, desktop. Memory cleaner is an app. You can get it for Apple laptop and also PC. Total PC cleaner is for PC. Advanced system care. I managed to get a free copy. Nowadays, I'm not sure whether they charge you or not, but it's good to try. This is also a good program to help you to clean up a lot of things. Remove unwanted files and app. This is a command to tell the laptop or desktop or even your smartphone to clear the files for you. Remove unwanted outdated program. This is also a command. Restart window key plus R. The three magic control alternate delete. Charging, battery care, OS updating. And uh, my advice that if you have more than 300 photos in your smartphone, please think of 
getting them out of the smartphone in an external drive, thumb drive, or any means. Actually, I have one special session on storage that will explain more in detail of this uh, uh, habit. For Windows 10 PC, I also have a special session, I think next month, we'll talk mainly just on Windows 10. So here I just give you some very brief outline of what you need to know. These are all command, commanding the operating system to remove unwanted files. It's very safe if you follow the instruction exactly. Now, using a smart device has some responsibility. The first responsibility is buy the right device. A lot of people either they buy a smartphone that underperform or overperform. So before you buy, it's good to get some advice from people who know to give you the best uh, choice that uh, you can say. Be aware of cheap offer. Cheap offer normally comes with outdated or very old OS version. Be careful of that. Because once the OS is of a certain outdated version, they normally do not allow you to upgrade further. So that means your usage is limited to that level. Understand your mobile plan. I paid only $20. You can even go cheaper than $20. If you go and check some of my old session, Zoom session to teach you how to save money on mobile plan. Today, we only talk about housekeeping your device, but there are others like uh, know how to find what you want to see, what you want to confirm not what they want you to see, it's different. Huh? Know how to avoid getting into trouble, scams and malware. So using a smart device, need a smart user. So these are mainly the main points of keeping your smart device properly. So I keep the battery management and risk management to uh, part two of the talk. So today I will focus on these three. Memory management. If you buy a smartphone, it's good to go around 128 GB or 256. I noticed some of the seniors have memory size of 16 GB. You can't do much with 16 GB. That means some of the apps you can't even download because they require a lot of memory. And if you put some pictures inside and all that, then you are limited in the usage. Get one smartphone with OS upgradable to the latest version. You remember, just like I told you, if you buy a very old version smartphone, they prevent you from updating to the latest version. That's why they sell you cheap. So if you think that that is what you want, it's okay. But if you want to follow what is going on, it's good to get one that can upgrade to the latest version. And when you buy, a desktop or laptop is good to have a RAM size of 2 times 8. Why I say 2 times 8 and not 16? The reason is because as the years go by, your RAM may also be obsolete. So for whatever reason, if one of the RAM is spoiled, at least you still can continue the usage by the remaining uh, one times eight. If you buy a 16, once that one spoil, your motherboard may not 
support the new RAM design. So that is the reason. For Windows 10, actually 8 GB is more than enough. Remove unwanted app, pictures, videos. That's one way to save memory. On chat line, you notice your friend will send a lot of pictures, videos, and all that. After you've seen it, it's good to delete away. Don't save it because most of the videos attached in WhatsApp or chat, uh, social chat group can be found in YouTube. So no point to keep it. Remove the web catches and uh, try not to download too many movies unless you have a very large RAM or memory size. So this transferring of uh, data memories to an external device is mainly discussed in my storage session. But if I have time, I will show you how you can do it on the Windows 10. There are two methods you can do it. What happens is when you buy a smartphone, they always give you a cable. So if you have a Windows 10 laptop or desktop, you just connect this cable to a USB socket and you can transfer or make an extra copy to your laptop. Then from there, you can transfer to an external drive or do whatever you want. For mobile data management, for me, I only have the 100 minute plan. The meaning of 100 minute plan is I can do an outgoing call not more than 100 minutes within the $20 I pay. If I talk more on that, I have to pay more. So one way to save this is every time you need to talk to your wife at home, just use your mobile phone to say, please call me back. And when your wife call you back, it's considered incoming call, not outgoing call, and it's not chargeable. Whenever your operating system provider, it can be Microsoft, it can be Apple, it can be Google, trust them, just update. No need to have any question asked because by the fact that you buy the smart device operating on that system, you already, right from day one, you trust them. So when they ask you to update, why not you continue to trust them? I checked in Google, I found that this is the latest version. For Apple, laptop is 11.3. For Apple iPhone is 14.5. For Android phone is 11. For Windows 10 is 20H2. 20 is year 2020. So, you can check your smart device and see whether you are up to date. If not, means that you have not followed their instruction. The reason for updating is because the provider has found something not so right in their program. It can be on a virus attack, it can be on scam, it can be on uh, usage. So it's good to trust them and update it. Now, I have a close interest group. I call that Harborfront Community Group. At the present moment, I have, I think, 142 members. The purpose is to let you all make friends with each other and when you ask a question in this closed group, I will provide the answer and uh, everyone of us can share your problem and learn the solution. And uh, there are other 
think non IT also I can help like M and E problem in household and all that. So it's a community base. We, we can ask anything we want. We can even have coffee chat and things like that. Now, to be fair to me, this is a Facebook. Uh, what should I say? Uh, sub uh, domain. So in Facebook, anything can happen. So if you request to join this group and just give me a name, say Mary Tan, I will not accept because Mary Tan in Facebook platform can be a male, can be a female. So in order to confirm who you are, I need some of this information, especially your mobile number, your email address. That will roughly tell me whether you are stationed in Singapore or you are overseas person. If you still have questions, you can email me and clarify before you join. I think that's all I have. So, see you, pass me.